Hello everyone and welcome back to Orchid Saga. So yeah, I thought let's do a blooming update in December, for the month of December, <laughs> on time, this time. And uh, just right before Christmas, I think it's nice to uh, have a look at some beautiful blooms. So I'm going to start in this corner because I don't want to forget this one. It's such a beautiful one. It's my uh, Epidendrum, Epidendrum Hybrid Golden Sun Star. And it's becoming quite a plant. We have two directions of growth. This is one with a sheet. And we have one here. And you can see these beautiful yellow blooms. It's such a beautiful uh, shaped bloom, if you ask me. So yeah, and they, these are not uh, that long around. I think about two weeks, something like that. So I thought, yeah, I'm going to start with this guy. Because it's so beautiful. So yeah, that's the first one. And then, right above here, we have this big beauty. Greenish yellow cenotus. Cenotus, yes, super swan. Absolutely beautiful. These beautiful yellow greenish blooms. And you see <laughs> next to it, this uh, mini fell. But yeah, quite a, quite a spike on it, you notice, as you can see, it's starting to uh, getting towards the rest, rest period. But before it uh, does that, it's uh, spoiling us with these beautiful blooms, two very large spikes on this one. And next to it, this one is still blooming, it's almost going over now, but also two spikes. This is the twine gold orange, also a cenotis. Beautiful, right? Look at that. Hanging upside down, <laughs> but still beautiful. Very beautiful spikes. And next to it, we have my Rene Marquez with a fairly large cane and just starting to open up its first bloom. It's not really open yet, but you can already see the beautiful colors. Very, very nice. But I think we will have some in January as well. Then this uh, Venda with two spikes, as you can see on the right side, this spike is, uh, is starting to go over. We have a few nice blooms there. And quite some blooms over here. So beautiful shaped blooms and the colors and then next to it we have this yellow one also two spikes as you can see fairly large then uh, these two are my biggest vendas there it is and there is this one with the keikis then next to it we have a white venda and i just decided to give this one away so uh this weekend it will leave my greenhouse and it will have a wonderful time, I believe, <laughs> at my aunt's. She really wanted to have a Venda and didn't get one yet. And I can have some room here on these shelves. So I thought, yeah, this white one is uh, going to her. And she's in luck because she's already starting a new spike over here. So this will be the last update on this white one. But yeah, sometimes we need to change a little bit. I think, and like I said, I will have some more rooms for these big ones over here. Then this beautiful Cattleya, fairly large, is starting to open up her blooms, but not yet. But the colors are beautiful. This is the Lin New City. BLC Ch Chia Lin New City. But she will be... Uh, in the next update and then over here this is also a beauty greenies or oh, green waxy blooms the yellow lip i hope it does show up quite well on camera and this is the cm cm jade cm jade there is the tag in the back beautiful I think then we have this one. Look at that, the spotted one. 
This is the Chinese doll kiwi. It has two blooms, as you can see. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And then over here, this spike is starting to open up. But these blooms are, I think, about two days open now. The yellow bird. I did get from uh, Annabelle. Miracle orchids. And it's doing fine. Luckily. <laughs> and this beauty is also still in bloom. Uh, be nose, I believe. Let me check the tag. Yeah, I have it listed as a brush, so Cattleya Binosa. Absolutely stunning. Look at that lip. So beautiful. And these buds are for next time. But above this one, I have this yellow Cattleya in bloom. Look at that. But actually, it has green in the name, but this is the name. Cat green. It's more yellow, and this one is a little bit more orange. This is the fresh, freshly open one. This is about a week open, and it starts to get a little bit more orange. But the name suggests the cat green, but I don't see much green on it. It's probably a little bit of green inside of the blooms there, but that's it. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely beautiful. So some cat layers there. We have some fails. Yellow fails still blooming. Las Vegas. We see more on different channels. This one is also beauty. And this mini fail over here. Look at that. Beautiful cluster of blooms. And a few blooms over here. More to come, of course. Then one of the new cymbidiums, cymbidiums is blooming. And you can see I did lose some buds there because this is really a uh, pendant spike. So I didn't give it a room. And it needs to adjust a little bit more to my environment. But still we have a few blooms. <laughs> so that's nice. And this one is just opened up. Opening up, I can see. Look at that. Not fully open yet. It's from this mini there. And this spike is from coming from this cymbidium. My older cymbidium has still some blooms. This beautiful yellow one. And the rest is now going over, as we can see. So let's get over to <laughs> beautiful yellow one. Close up, another yellow one. To this area here I have also some blooms. Well, actually quite a few here on my dendrobium still. Dendrobium valleopsis types. Beautiful. Very nice contrast from a light color to this beautiful burgundy color. Taiwan's black. And there we have a beautiful purple happiness. And polar fire. Above these beauties, we have these spikes. This is a blue happiness, a no ID white one, and a no ID purple one. And that one has quite some spikes, as you can see. So a lot of blooms there in this corner. And in the back, I have the snow jade, also still in bloom. But those blooms are now getting. Uh, bit older, some are getting over as you can see. But that's the snow jade. And down under the snow jade I have another white one. These blooms are starting to get over as well, as you can see. And this beautiful pink one is still here. And I have a new bloom, a first time bloomer I see. It's this yellowish one. Let me try to turn that around. There we go. Let's have a look. The beautiful green bloom. The first time bloom with this one. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. 
this is called green green oops I'm sorry green oriental butterfly fairly young plant and uh, I believe this is the first time it blooms for the plant as well but yeah beautiful absolutely beautiful and a green splash beautiful contrast that green and purple here's the original and a green without the splash let me zoom in a bit look at that beautiful I really enjoy these two and then we have this alien shaped one <laughs> look at that just starting to open up uh, these blooms we have a bud here but it's fairly fresh oops absolutely beautiful and this is the name tag for those who want to know the spectable cross well you can obviously see the spectable in it it really looks like a the spectable spectable and down here we have the berry oda the beautiful tiny blooms very uh, honey type fragrance very strong at the moment so those are there then over here we have my orange delight with two very large spikes over here starting to open up this one is a bit older here in the back and we have a spike that is going over or is over already and a fairly new one here look at that orange delights Very beautiful and the green parrot still has some blooms open there in the back And next to it we have the Verona. Let me see if I can get it. It's upside down, I apologize. It's <laughs> a bit hard to film at the moment. Also a beautiful colored one. And then my eye catched these balloons. Look at that. Let me turn that around gently. Let me see. Yeah, this is a new one. Look at that. Beautiful. Just freshly opened. Absolutely beautiful. I have no name for this one, sadly. Yeah. Really like that one. And then over here, it's a bit of strange bloom on this uh, Miltonia crush. I'm missing. Uh, some sepals, petals, I think, sepals, I'm not sure, but the bloom is a little bit dis disformed. <laughs> but anyhow, it's blooming, it's blooming. Then my mottled sunset, two blooms. These get these strange markings here, it always does that. Well, most of the times, uh, this year I had one bloom that was clean, I, uh, if I remember co correctly. But, uh, yeah, nonetheless, I like it, so I'm keeping it. That's it for the Miltonia corner, because my Peter Kamp is uh, done blooming, as you can see. <laughs> so let's get over to this side, so we can uh, have a look at my Epidendrum. It's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. I say that with every plant, I believe, but still. <laughs> Very, very nice, very nice. And some old blooms still on this. Uh, uh, I don't have a tag at the moment, but it's a fair uh, one that is uh, a lot of growers have this one, but I can't remember the top of my head uh, the name for this orchid. But it's still in the it's a original pot, as you can see. But I'm waiting on to uh, on the repot, but it first needed to uh, be done with the blooming. 
So let's uh, have a look inside the arcade room. And we're going to start here with my Miltoniopsis, Princess Diana. These are now going over, but this spike is fairly fresh. Beautiful bloom. Absolutely beautiful. Um, there's a spike, no blooms yet. We have still some blooms left on my French town. But as you can see, it's starting to go over. But that brown and orange, I found them uh, to work so very well together. <coughs> And quite some Ludicia spikes. Over here, then we have this new idea with quite some large blooms. Beautiful. I really uh, enjoy the yellow and the white together on that lip. It's very nice. Then over here. I think this could be some wildcat type. Not sure, but I think so. Very beautiful contrast. Strong colors, I believe. Yeah, I really enjoy this one. Next to it, I still have in bloom the yellow Nelly Eiler. I did get it with a spike, but still it's blooming. And then next to it, this is a new one, first time bloomer for me. Look at those colors. Those orange and brown rusty colors. This is the Catanta Pacific Sunspots. Yeah, beautiful. And my jewel Alba is blooming underneath there. And above here I have some new spikes on my Sotoanum. And look at that color. I now have them in my uh, orchid room. They got to get a little less light. It's a bit cooler here most of the time. And the colors are uh, richer. I can really see a difference there. So I believe this one uh, the oncidium types do like it a little bit more here inside the orchid room. Then above this one, we still have this one in bloom. There it is. <laughs> Bialara type bloom. Odontoglossum. Yeah, this spike is going over. This is a fairly new one. This is the tag, but goes with the with the plant. Yeah, it's a Bialara type. Then I just showed them to you guys in my last video. They're two minkles, but look at that. Beautiful, right? I hope the camera picks it up. Contrast is a little bit big there, but beautiful, right? Look at all those colors. And all those teeny tiny blooms. A splash of yellow. <laughs> and then these orange ones there. Look at that. Yeah, the fragrance is fantastic. I know some people don't like it, like Insa. <laughs> Personally, I love the fragrance. Absolutely love it. My Peggy Root Carpenter still working on some blooms. Look at that. There we go. And then we have a large spike. I need to stake it to the shelf. It's so large. And then this one. Those are uh, for a later video, but still. <laughs> we have some spikes to come there on the Starbuck. And then we have my Mice Reds. Look at the amount of blooms, you guys. Six spikes. This three bulbs, both of the bulbs, uh, all three of them had two spikes. Look at the colors. Absolutely beautiful. And then above we have this one. 
it's also beautiful. Let me grab the tag. I always forget the name of this one. Coral. An Inca orchid. An Inca orchid. And then this one just opened up yesterday. Here we go. And uh, yeah, I have a tag because I did forget the name of this one as well. Oh, this is the uh, um, uh, Odontoglossum Iris Mist. Not the Oncidium, but Odontoglossum Iris Mist. Also from the Incas. And we have still some blues left on this one. The beautiful rusty colored one. And then above. We're almost there. This Puffio Pedalum. Still in bloom. I did a repot on this one in October. It had, it was already in bloom. Whoops. And, but this is still the same bloom and yesterday I saw that it's starting a new bud. Look at that. So it adapted just beautiful to the system, into the new system and it still kept on blooming. Still the same, the same bloom, can you believe it? I, did, I was expecting that this one would fail because of the repot, but it's looking stunning, beautiful. And next to it we have the Pinocchio Alba. Which also kept on blooming, like nothing happened. <laughs> so yeah, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So yeah, look at that. I enjoy these blooms so much. It's so wonderful to be here. All those colors, absolutely beautiful. And here and there in between you see the new spikes coming. So in January I could do another update. <laughs> I'm sure because we have new blooms on the way. <laughs> so yeah, that's going to be fantastic. So yeah, we are right before Christmas, you guys. So I just wanted to take the opportunity to wish you all the best. I hope you have wonderful, a wonderful Christmas time. And in between Christmas and New Year's Day, I will, uh, will have another video. So I will uh, talk to you next week. Not completely sure what we're going to do, but I'm going to uh, try to make another good video, of course. <laughs> Thank you so much for uh, liking my video, subscribing to my channel. And uh, like I said, I really, really hope you have wonderful Christmas days. And um, yeah, I hope you can enjoy them with family, with friends uh like we will do at least the first uh, christmas day the second we are home alone as it uh, seems to be well not exactly home alone but together at home me and my husband and i really enjoy that it's just a, a day off we don't have much days off <laughs> so yeah i'm really looking forward to a, a very nice relaxing day together with him and then in the upcoming week like i said i will uh, will uh, post a new at least one new video maybe two we uh, we shall see but thank you guys for watching if you didn't already have please consider subscribing to my channel and as usual if you have questions suggestions please leave them in the comment section below and i really hope to see you at my next video bye bye